Anointing is a word that's uh, highly misunderstood today, but also rarely seen and, and, and done. Uh, I think in this uh, particular geographical landscape, if you want to use that word, of, of Christian culture right now, uh, people are trapped uh, and not having the freedom that comes to the Holy Spirit. And there's so much performance-based, it's occupational driven, uh, end product driven, uh, you know, what's our end goal and are we bearing this, is that our, do we achieve that? It's so processed. Uh, it reminds me of the book that my doctor gave me in 1976 called Sugar Baby Blues. Uh, sugars and flowers and stuff, they're just, how do we get them maximized and get it done fast and get it out of there? So anointing is sort of like organic food in a way. It sounds like a hippie, don't I? <laughs> Uh, but it has real power. There's, there's actual real power in real food. Uh, you wouldn't put water in your gas tank of your car. You need octane. So when that spark hits, bam, you have combustion. And uh, so it's the same as anointing. People uh, today, number one, most people don't even know what anointing is. Number two, they're afraid of it. They're afraid because anointing changes the landscape. Jesus was anointed when he came out of the wilderness things changed. You know, he moved in differently than he did the first 30 years of his life. And that doesn't mean he wasn't, the Son of God wasn't anointed. But uh, it doesn't mean it's like just a meeting where, oh, the worship night was so anointed, now we go home and watch American Idol. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. Anointing is a gifting. It's, it's a presence of the Holy Spirit in your life, whether you're on a stage or whether you're in your bedroom talking the phone to somebody. It's the presence of the Holy Spirit that is able to break the yoke. That's one thing that's given. I'm not the best musician. I'm not a great phenomenal guitar player like my friend Phil Kagey or something like that. I'm not a great singer, but I do have a great God. And my great God, when he calls me to a task, he anoints me with the power to do what he's called me to do. And I've, if I had a nickel for every time somebody said, man, that was weird. You started singing. It's like everybody in the room left. You're like, you're singing just to me. Well, what is that? You know? That's an anointing, you know, that's an example of anointing because the Holy Spirit knows the need. The Holy Spirit's able to take something and gift it and give it, you know, uh, power.